One I use literally all the all the time, and thanks to Mike, Mike actually turned me on to this particular tool. I'll show that one first. It's called a Tuin, which is like a history, like a CLI history type thing. So you can kind of just hit the up arrow, and you can see all of your previous commands, and then you can just kind of like you know I can enter one in and do it, or I can just directly hit enter and run it. Anyway, it's super convenient. The thing I like most about this though is I can like search, so I can do like you know pip. And I can see all of my old pip extensions I've done, which is just super convenient. And so, like, and I have some really gnarly commands that I, I run sometimes for some of my workflows that are, like, super long, and I don't want to have to write them down someone, somewhere and then rewrite it. So if I run it once, I have it. And then all I have to do is get the first couple characters of it, and it works great. So I don't know what I would do without it, too, and it's just a great thing. And it's, you know, one arrow button up, and then you're there, tab or enter. There's also other cool stuff you can do here. You can do, like, fuzzy search, and there's, like, you can, I think there's, like, uh, what is this, global host session, too, like, for your current terminal session. You can just see your session stuff. Anyway, there's some cool stuff here. Or just the directory. Whoa, weird. I didn't know you could do that. Anyway, there's some cool stuff there. I love it, too, and I think... Literally everyone should use that rather than the default CLI because it's just way better. How do you, um, you just press up to use it? It's not even a command? Yeah, you just press the up arrow. It just replaces your general history. And so you oh, literally so just like press a plug up. In for, does, it, does every terminal support it? Or what, is this Alacrity you're using? Or? Oh, I uh, see, this is just every terminal. Yeah, this is every mm -hmm. terminal. So you can just kind of hit up arrow and install. I don't know actually what... It's some sort of binary or something that replaces things. I don't know what it's built in. But, yeah, it works on all my terminals, which is cool. Um, and it's just so convenient, like a single key. Type. Press up again. And then try Control-O. Control-O. Whoa, what is this? I just, I just discovered that the other day. They give you, like, a bunch of stats to how you use your terminal. Huh. Weird. And you're able okay. to like dive deep and to see like what commands you use more frequently. So maybe you can create aliases based on your most frequently used commands. Like there's actually a lot of development going on here to really enhance the terminal experience. And I like, they're not doing a great job with promotion because I didn't know this existed until I saw a long little top where it says control O there. So I thought play around with it. But yeah, I mean, this is a, a really good tool that I hope more people play around with. Weird. What is this runs per day thing? Is that just like each of the last days, how many times I've used it? Did I use it 58 times in a day? That's crazy. Something like that. Anyway, that's super cool. I love a Tuin, and I think there's no reason not to use it, which is a bold claim to say, but there's literally no reason not to use it. Well, yeah, in all caps, can you enter API key as well? <laughs> <laughs> API key. don't actually, key. right? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, there we go. You get a couple oh, of them. Oh, but they're cut off, so you, okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> I made the, the thing real big, yeah. Mm. Anyway, it's great. I think I think everyone should use it.